Morning guys, just coming up to 6am, uh, just pulled up to the fishery and taking my stuff down to my peg. Uh, I'm going to be doing some method feeder fishing for you today, so I'm going to be giving some tips and tricks on what I do when I'm method feeder fishing. Step one, wake up really going rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, can everybody just do your thing? Wake up, wake up. today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Obviously one of the most important parts of method feeder fishing is making sure that you've got a nice ground bait consistency. So in this ground bait I've got uh, some 2 mil pellets. Don't be scared about adding attractants in if you want a bit of extra boost. But I've just got some normal fish meal uh, ground bait and some 2 mils in there. First thing we want to do to this mix is add some water. Uh, don't go overboard with the water. So that'll do. Let's get that mixed in. Now, what I normally do is slightly over wet it, so get it all mixed through because those two mils will absorb a lot of that water. So get that evenly coated through. And now what we want to do is we want to put it through the riddle. So that we have a nice light fine fluffy texture on that so i'm going to get this through there we go so like i said don't be scared about having a adding a little bit of attractant in Just put a tiny bit of that in give that a bit of a mix through put some more in so it's like a really sweet attractant and I'll just put a bit on uh, the method feeder every time I cast out as well. But you want you want the ground bait so that when you squeeze it into a ball, it stays firm, but you can also break it up. So that's perfect. Might need a little bit more water to add into it later, but we can do that. So what rods I'm using today are these Shimano uh, Speedmasters. Uh, these are my favourite rods for method feeder fishing. And then I've got uh, Preston Innovations uh, inline uh, interchangeable method feeders. I've just got my rods set up. First method feeder fishing tip is make sure that your rod tips are as close to the water as possible. Um, so I've got these set up, it's a really tight swim this. So I've got one over to where the aerator is at the end of that line. And I've got one about midway. So. Okay folks, so because I'm on a really busy lake today, I'm gonna to be putting in some of these voiceovers, um, just so I'm not disturbing anybody. Uh, these wafters that I normally use are Sonya Bates ones. Um, I find that the pink wafters are best. That's what we catch the most fish on. Um, I really keep it simple when I'm method feeder fishing and I'll just use one or two baits. There's no point going mad having absolutely loads of baits. Find out what works best for you and just stick to those. So as you just saw, I baited up then with a 10 mil uh, pink wafter on the band. Um, those are the Sonya Baits ones. I use them in six, eight and 10 mil. They're my favorites, uh, they're the washed out ones and I find the pink work the best for some reason. Um, that's everywhere I go, uh, so that's pretty much all I tend to use when I'm method feeder fishing. I might use some corn or maize or you know something like that as well as a bit of a change, but I'll usually just stick to those. Feels like a breeze.
spring. So as well as having your rod tips uh, close to the water surface, you want a slight bend in the tip of your rod as well, uh, in your quiver tip. Uh, that's so that the line is tight to the feeder and basically when the fish bolts with the bait it's going to self hook against uh, the rod tip. Um, also the weight of the feeder will help that uh, but it's mostly hooking itself against the rod tip. Um, you want to be waiting for a really aggressive bite when you're fishing the method feeder um, so the rod tip will go right round and then that's when you lift up into the fish. So I've just uh, reeled this feeder in, I'm going to rebait and cast back out. Um, in summer, don't be scared of recasting quite often. If you're not getting a bite, you want to build up that bed of feed uh, on the lake bed. So I've just filled this method feeder up, uh, squoze it tight in the mould. Put a little bit of attractant on it. Cast back out into the same spot. Try and fish accurately uh, when you're fishing the method feeder in summer because like I said you want to build up that bed of bait on the lake bed um, and build up your swim. So I'm fishing it next to the serrator like I said. Sink the line under the water before you put it back on your rod rest. So that refeeding's worked and I'm into a fish. So obviously the hook bait is secured with a bait band, so I'm just checking that's still uh, secure in the band before I uh, put it in the mould. So I've just reeled into bait up again, uh, another quick tip is make sure that you balance your uh, wafter against the weight of the hook. So with this 10 mil, I'm using a size 10 hook. So for example, if I was using a 6 mil uh, wafter, I'd be using something like a size 16 hook, an 8 mil, a size 14, that kind of thing. But you want um, the weight of the hook to be balanced with the wafter. Um, because wafters are meant to be critically balanced, meaning that they just drift around uh, on the bottom. Um, they're not meant to be popped up like a pop-up. All it does is assist the bait in flying up into the fish's mouth uh, when they're feeding. So when they're sucking and blowing baits out on the bottom, uh, the wafter will just have that extra buoyancy to fly up into the mouth. And then obviously on the ejection, uh, when they're blowing the bait back out, when the feed in, it'll hook in the lip. So if you're a beginner and you need to uh, feed a fish in, I don't recommend doing what I'm doing here, which is using two feeder rods. Uh, it can be hard work and you know, you can get tangles and snagged up and stuff like that. Uh, so I just stick to one rod and fish accurately and you'll get just as many fish.
Also make sure you always take a towel with your fishing so you're not sliming everything up, especially when you're fishing for bream. Again, fill the method feeder up. I've just put a piece of maize on here, um, red maize. So that's in there, cover it up, put it back on the feeder, and squeeze it into the mold, pop it out, and now it's ready to cast. Try and get it back into the same spot. You can clip up using your line clip. So I'm opening the bale arm and just underarming this out midway. Sink the line and then rest it back on there. So after a couple of hours of fishing, uh, it seemed to dry up in that peg. Uh, I stopped getting bites for some reason. So I decided to make a move uh, to the other side of my dad. Uh, I fancied fishing to this uh, overhanging tree that's on the right hand side of the picture. And turns out it was a good move. Decent idea, Dad. They do look a bit chubbish when they get bigger, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's about... yeah. Oh, that's that one gone. <laughs> <laughs> Quite nice fish to catch these eyed. Um, they do fight, they fight, I would say, harder than roach or bream. Um, so they do fly off on the method feeder. Uh, fairly hard to catch on the method feeder eyed. I only seem to catch them on the method feeder here. Um, you can tell the difference between an eyed and a roach because eyed have got black eyes.
Nice barbel that, Dad. That's a, that's a nice fish, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice probably. looking fish. Lift it, let's have a look at the tail. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it wasn't an eyed. Felt better. Yeah. I'm I'm losing fish because of the other rod getting in the way, so I'm gonna to have to put this one out a bit. Crucian carp. Nice little hide.
Well, this is a nice little tench to end the day. If you did like this video, folks, please feel free to subscribe and pop a like down below. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope the video was helpful and you picked up a couple of tips. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.